Hello. Welcome to the Retro Shed. Once again. My name is Joshua. And his name is... I'm Barry. I'm Barry. Oh, yeah. To our seventh video. He's still counting. He's still counting. Still counting. Yes. So today we're going to be looking at Jetpack, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Today we're going back to 1983. 83. Um, this is some serious gaming serious, heritage serious we're talking gaming. about here. Serious game serious. Do you want to tell them about Jetpack then? Because I know a lot well, about Jetpack. Jetpack. You have this little chap called <laughs> Jetman. Luna Jetman. Yeah, who has a jetpack, obviously. And he flies around to platforms like these, and he has to shoot these aliens, right? And then he has to find the pieces on the platforms to build a ship up. And then he gets these things like the fuel. And then you fly over the top of your ship and drop it down to fuel the ship. And then you get in it and then you fly to the next level, basically. And then you shoot all those monsters as well. That's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty, that's, much, that's it. pretty much it. But this, this game was the first game. Quite brilliant, really. Quite the first brilliant. game for Tim and Chris Stamper her, from Ultimate Play the Game. This was their first game yeah. on the ZX Spectrum in 1983. Now, at this point, the computer had only been out a year, I think a year, so it was launched in 1982. Yeah, so this was actually their first game. This game went on to win. Thanks, kid. <laughs> this game went on to win the Golden Joystick Award for the best game of the year in 1983. Yes. Considering it was their first game, That's that is good. not That's bad going good. really, was it? So yeah, this was Ultimate Play the Game and they released Jetpack, they released Attic Attack, they released some cracking games. They went on to become who? Rare. Rare. Who well done. released Golden Eye. Golden Eye. And we featured that on our previous video. Yeah. You're looking for it. I'll put it away now. So, what happened to you today? Nothing's happened to me today, but yesterday, yesterday Ooh, I went to that. Revival Retro in Warsaw, near mm. Birmingham, in England, yeah. in the UK. That's near London. Well, it's not really. But Get on with some people think that's near London. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was a retro show, um, and it was absolutely brilliant. I met uh, quite a few people actually, and spoke about retro gaming. Strangely enough, had a go on a number of classic really? old machines. Yeah, had a look at some classic old machines, and met and spoke to Andrew Hewson of Hewson Consultants, who are releasing their new game soon. I was going to say, isn't he releasing a new game? He is. Yeah. Uh, well, Hewson Consultants are they're releasing a game called Hyper Sentinel, which yes. is based on. Well, it's very much like Euridium actually, and the. Retro Retro Shed is actually a backer of this particular game. We yeah, are, actually, I think we will appear in the credits yeah, at some point in the, the on that particular game. So we're proud to uh, to back Houston Consultants with yeah. their new game. It looks absolutely brilliant. I can't wait to get my yeah. hands on it and have a go, really. Um, so that's pretty much what we've been doing this weekend. Yep, yeah, very interesting um, news. Oh, that's pretty you? much it. Yeah, he bought me a Mario as well. Where is, the, where is Mario? It's Mario. It's on my bed. It's a plush Mario. Plush Mario. Plush Mario. Cool. He should be in here, actually, with the rest no, of the he stuff. he shouldn't. He should. He should be in here. All the stuff I have, he wants down here. Yeah. Even this Rubik, Rubik's Cube. Yeah, I pinched this Rubik's. He this today as well. <laughs> well, it, but come on, it belongs in here, doesn't it, really? It's retro. That's the it original is retro. Rubik's Cube. Yes, we're going to have a look at Jetpack. Now, Jetpack, 1983 on the Spectrum, yes. 1984 on the BBC. What levels are? 1984 on the BBC. 2007 it was released on xbox 360 live Get back. arcade we've also got that oh, so we're going to be looking we're going to be looking yes, it is. Isn't that down there? It's down there. We're going to be looking at three different versions of jetpack and as usual <laughs> figuring out which one is, is best. the best this game was incidentally made before i was born Right, so we've got uh, a jetpack loaded up on a real Spectrum. Yes. Now, incidentally, this game, well, this version of the game, you can actually play on the Xbox. The 2007 version of Jetpack Refueled includes the Spectrum version, but we don't cool. cheat on this channel. We don't nope. cheat. We nope. thought we'd load it up on the Spectrum. Yep. We've got the hardware. Let's give it a go. Yes. So we've got a one-player game. We've got Kempston Joystick. God, that brings back some memories. Uh, hit five. To start the game. Uh, five. five. You press five on the keyboard. Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a break, fam. Give me a break. I okay, definitely have to Okay, so you're Mr. Luna Jetman. You've got to fly around. 
defending yourself and um, picking up parts of your rocket like so. And now you've got to fuel it. Not get killed. Mm, it's not good. <laughs> but it isn't. It's a wraparound game, actually. If you fly off the right end of the screen, you end up on the... Cool! Look at that. That's a wraparound, kid. So fill your rocket with fuel without getting killed. Your rocket, your what? jet man has inertia as well. He feels like you can feel the gravity on him. Brilliant. So let's see if you can get off World 1. I love the attribute clash. Look at that. Proper spectrum attribute clash. Do you know what attribute clash is, no. Josh? That's where one colour goes over another colour and it no bleeds no. onto the background sprite. So when the sprites pass over each other, like that, the like colours the clash. White goes pink, yeah, like so that. if you look at look at the way the rockets go, yeah, look at that there. Black and pink. There you go. Yeah, the colours go a bit screwy. And I think the only way around that on the spectrum was to put a black border around every moving sprite. Somebody might correct me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how they got around the problem. There you go, so you fuel your rocket up and you're ready to go to the next planet. Well done. I'm a pro. I love this game. The first time I played this was around at a friend's house uh, on their rubber key Specky 48. I thought it was just brilliant. You can see why it won one um, golden joystick of the year back in 1983. Isn't this like No Man's Sky? From what aspect is it like No Man's Sky? Because like you have to find fuel for your ship, and then in level one you have to actually build your ship, which is the same in No Man's Sky. So you're comparing Jetpack on the Spectrum to No Man's Sky? Yeah. That's no comparison at all. This is actually fun to play. Good point. <laughs> you can actually get... No! Don't shoot, no. Why does it look like a puffball? I don't know what, they're alien puffballs with glasses on, aren't they? Because that's not weird at all. I can't believe you compared this to No Man's Sky. You're going to kill me now, aren't you? No one's going to... just... I don't know, it's just... Have another Baz. go. Baz. Have another go. He's handed the joystick to me. <laughs> you do this a lot, don't you? We're playing old games. My go. Right, let's see. That's a bit close, Josh. That's what we call an extreme close-up. Here we I are. I don't think these people want to see an extreme <laughs> close-up of me. Here we are. Bad <laughs> plane. Uh. Oh, he got denied. So. This is... I can't believe... Right, do you know... Yes. When you've left your first planet... Mm -hmm. The rocket remains assembled. Until yeah. you level get to four. level four. Once you get yes. to level four, you have to build a new rocket. Yes, you do. And the numbers on the rocket, mm -hmm. go up. Yes, they do. They do. Of course they do. How are they, like, how are you, like, beating me at this game? How am I beat? How? Oh, my God. It's a pro. I thought I was the pro. You only know how to play new games, which are not as hard. Ooh. Indeed. You stick to your Star Wars Battlefront. Oh. <laughs> how are you so how are you so good at this game? How are you so good at this game? Hang on a minute, you just walk through your rocket, how does that work? You walk into the rocket. Okay, we've got Jetpack loaded up on the BBC. Here's a camera view of the screen. Hopefully that will uh, do the trick. Uh, and let's see how it compares to uh, our Spectrum version. I think yep. F4 for joysticks. Uh, F1 for a one-player game. Yes. See, this is already too complicated for me. Sound on. This is already way complicated. This is not complicated. I don't like the music. No. It's scary. Oh, actually... Oh my god, this is different. Colour? I like the colour. So, it's not as high res as the Spectrum. And the noise is a bit... Chaotic. Grating. It's a bit chaotic in my opinion. Oh dear. Did you die? I'm dead. Why? Nice. Oh dear. I like oh the colour It's very colourful, isn't it, Josh? Yeah. I'm dead. Yes, again. 
Uh, let's have another go. So I'm using one of these um, Vault Mace analog joysticks on the Beeb, which cool. takes a bit of getting used to. Wait till I have a go. This is this is harder than the Spectrum version. Is it? Yeah. I mean, It's blockier. Blockier? What do you mean by that? Well, the graphics look. Pixels. Yeah, it's it's blockier. It's whoops. It's blockier. It's more colourful. And actually, I'd say that the uh, those. Whoa. Oh dear. I'm not very good at this, am I? Should we try again? Right, try another go. Pass it over. Do you want to have a go? Pass it over. All right, Josh is having a go. I'm going to show you guys how sick I am. You ready? You ready for it? How do you use the controls? Ready? Look at this controller! It's like impossible. <laughs> right, let's go. Jeez! Oh my god! Jeez! Oh my god! <laughs> it is very colourful, it's blocky, what? Oh. it's fast, it's, yeah. and it's a lot harder than the Specky version. <laughs> it's no. alright though, it's not bad, I like it. I love how his laser blasts all different colours. Oh. I think I'm even worse than you. That's, You're worse than me. And that's saying something. Oh. Right, okay, should Too we have bad. a look at it on the uh, let's have a look at it on the Xbox. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, let's. Xbox freeze it all, that's rare. That's the new Rare logo, I like it. So this was released in 2007, I think. Yes, was it? Right, what do you reckon? Is it going to be Whoa! better than the Spectrum version? Jeez, look at this. What do you reckon, Josh? Ooh, um... I don't think the Spectrum could ever display mm, anything like that. No. So, it's single player. I might do better on this because it's the Xbox 360 controller. Yeah, so I'm that's more fair enough, that. absolutely. So let's, we don't need retro, to see the old retro. version. We've already seen the old version. Okay. And out of interest, let's have a quick... Oh, oh yes, yes, look at that. Look at the background as well. I like the background as well. Is it easy on this one? It's a, it's a border, isn't it? Yeah, I love... I love now, I've got to admit, this. this is a lot easier than the version I've just played. I'm liking this. Nice. Whoa. Nice. Nice job there on the conversion. I like it. Mind you, I'd be very surprised if the Xbox wasn't capable of powering this game. Whoops. Wrong button. Okay, so let's That's look it. at... Wait, let me play. You want to go on this one? Yes. Hang on then. Go. Wait, so doing? Josh oh. wants to have a go on the retro edition. Instant loading. I love on that. On Xbox 360. Go I on then, Josh. See how well you can do. And let's face it, controllers have come a long way, haven't they, since that... 1983? Yes, they have. So. Yes, they have made. I would yes, be very have. surprised if you found this harder than the Spectrum version. <laughs> It's very easily controllable with an Xbox controller, yeah. actually. I'm not going to go down. I've got to say, you know, I, I do think this is a better version than the BBC version. Yes. I know, I know yeah. I'm going to get... Controls are amazing. I'm going to get a lot of stick from BBC fans. <coughs> and don't get me wrong, I love the BBC. It's a wonderful, Yee. wonderful machine. But you know what? I think the Specky version's better than the BBC version. Oh, no! Okay. First death. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's see how far I can get. I'm quite liking this. Oh. <laughs> as soon as I say that, I die. So, jetpack on the Xbox 360. Classic retro Whee! mode. Well done. Should we have a look at the new version? Yes, we shall. Okay. I'll go first. Single player refueled. Ooh, let's let's see if it's. Ooh. Jeez. This looks really nice. I like this. Oh, I'm not sure which part you have to get first, though. Oh, there's a bit of rocket. Is that a bit of rocket there? Yeah, but you can't get that one. You have to get the other one first, I think. Oh, yeah, over here. Yeah. Oh, you get weapon ups as well. Look at that. So it's very swanky. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like his jetpack plume. Look at the stuff that comes out of his jetpack. That's really cool. It's very. Um, that doesn't really look like a, a shot. Uh, modern. <laughs> just, just a bit. Do you know what? It's very playable. What's that mean? It's... Why are you stupid? Is that his rocket? That doesn't look like a rocket. Is that a rocket? Yeah. Oh look, he walks as well. Look at that. 
cool. Does that say fuel or pubble? Uh? Fubble. It looks like fubble, pubble there. Uh. It's fubble. Does it say fuel? It says fubble. Oh, look, there's a little. Oh, that's not fair. Right, no more Mr. Nice Guy. That you, says pubble. You weren't being nice before. Wasn't I? No. Oh. See, you just obliterated that guy before you could even These look. Him. Do you know what these remind me of? These alien characters. They remind me of Herbit Crabs I saw on holiday in the Maldives. Oh, that means you get in it. Oh, I got it. Do I have to get in it now? Oh, look at that. This is really pretty. <laughs> I like it. Let me do level two. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You can have it in a minute. I like this. Dad's overdone. By the this is a really nice modern update on a classic game. The, the playability is still there. It's really slick. It's got background music. The aliens look like aliens instead of just furry eyes and, and, and meteors and stuff. Well, that's what they are. Nice background. This is really good. Worth all of the 85 pence I paid for it. <laughs> did it cost me 85 pence on Xbox Live, this did? Whoa. Oh, the aliens can change direction. They never did that on the spec key. Makes it difficult. I can't believe you just dropped that fuel. Well, that was unfair. What did you just do? Did you just die? Yeah. I really like this. Very playable. Very pretty. Yes. Size is good. It's massive. What's that there? Is that a weapon up? Yeah. Yes. It's can fire up now as well, look. Yeah, that's a weapon up. So what do you think of this? I'm liking it, yeah. It does look quite good, doesn't it? Get in! Get in! Get in! Let's have a look at level three. Reticuli squid port. What's the bet that these guys are squids? 17 pence. Squid! Oh look, they're squids. I like their movement. Of course you do. I just had a really weird thought then. Could you imagine if you could go back to 1983? And show them this. With this console. And show them this. You'd have to take a telly and some cables as well because there's no telly invented in 1983 that had a HDMI port. And you need to take them <laughs> and stuff. So you'd have to... T <laughs> so, oh. Damn. so if you could go back to 1983 with this console and a flat screen TV... What this they say? be interested to see what the kids are saying because they'll all be raving about the Spectrum version and you can just go, oh yeah, check this out then if you think that's good. And they'd be like, what? I think you'd be changing uh, the timeline and the history and all that stuff. It'd be a bit like Star Trek going back in time and it, oh. It'd be a paradox. Going back in time and introducing new technology to 1983. What are we talking about? We've gone off on one. Is that, how, is that what happens in Star Trek? Wow. There are a couple of Star Trek stories that if you go back in time, you can change the future, can't you? It's called the butterfly effect. Uh, it's it's linked to the butterfly effect. It's more like a paradox if you go back in time. Dad, can I have a go? Do you want to go? Yes, please. Oh, I'm enjoying this. Hang yeah, on then. The Hang on, Josh wants to go, guys. I'm going to quit this. No, don't. I want to continue. You want to go from that Actually, level? Actually, no. Let's go from there. Let's do this thing. It's nice, I like it. I do like it. And the fact that it was cheaper than the original Spectrum version, because this only cost 85 pence. How things have progressed, eh? It's better, but it's cheaper. So how does it play, Josh? How do you I like it? I like it. Do you yeah. like it? Ooh. It's it's. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my retro head on now. It's missing something. Oh yeah. Isn't it? Mm. What do you think? Um. Well, I, I think you were never there, were you? You weren't there back yeah, in the was. No, not in '83. You weren't. So you weren't there. You didn't get the whole. Wow! Look at this scenario. I think this is brilliant. It's a fabulous game. It really pays ah. homage to the original. Not as good as the original. 
It's better. How did I know you were going to say that? I'm a modern gamer. I think there's a theme. There's a theme on our on our show here, isn't there? I like all Bad the job. old stuff, and you like all the, new all stuff. the modern stuff. Well, there's no harm in that, I suppose. I'm pro as well. Right, that's good. I like it. I'm on a mini. You had a massive go. <laughs> and it's back to this. Oh, we're already in the studio, aren't we? No. Let me do level two. Right, we'll leave it there. We'll let Josh no. carry on playing with this. Okay, fine. Leave Josh it. carries on, and we'll uh, we'll go back to the studio. We are in the studio. We are in the studio. I said that. Right, that is a rather in-depth look at Jetpack on Spectrum, BBC, Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. I'm just trying to remember how many consoles we looked at it on. Three. I don't think it was released on anything else. It might have been. Three. I don't recall if it was released on anything else. So, okay, so this game, 1983, Specky, Golden Joystick Award what? of the Year, 1983, yep. Best Game of the Year. Yep. What are your thoughts on it? Wow. Spectrum version this is. Wow. It's a bit too tense for my liking. Because you like. <laughs> go from like, platform to platform, picking up bits of each. And then you always. You called Outrun tense. I call Nemesis tense. Outrun's tense, Nemesis is tense. Star Wars Battlefront is tense. Star Wars Battlefront is tense. It is though! I can't think of any computer games you're not going to find tense in if you find Jetpack tense. It's a cool game I know! Though. E.T. the Extraterrestrial! We'll talk about that in a moment. So, did you like it? Mm, Be honest! Be honest, you're going to upset an awful lot of people if you say yeah, you don't like it. I like it. But yeah. I need you I like to be it. honest, because like we it. are honest, if it nothing else. I do, yeah, I like it. I still think the game is as fresh as it was back then. I absolutely mm -hmm. love it. Everything from the sound to the movement. The gameplay. Okay, I had to play it on a Kempston joystick, which is a bit antiquated is in this day and age. It is brilliant. Like the I love it a bit. It still has a great following today. Look, they would not have made a, a new version of it in 2007 if it wasn't a special game. Right, BBC Micro version. I love the BBC. Whoa. It's a great machine, but yeah. so what did you think? Colourful. It's, it's quite pixelated as well, wasn't it? It, it was. was quite... It was not the resolution. I don't think as high as a specy version. It's no. very colourful. It's very chunky. He had a green spacesuit. It's very noisy, actually, as well. It's like, <laughs> um, it's like and those joy. I'm not. I, I don't get on with those analog joysticks on the. Those on joysticks the, we're um, using. Those 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 ones behind yeah, the camera. The, the thing is, like, <laughs> like, like one little movement from these things is like, like. like show show them what they look like. Look, these. These things, right, yeah. These, if you just do this, <laughs> it goes mental. They are very. Sit down. They're made. They're like. <laughs> those are the. That is the worst hated hated console controller ever known. And that's hang on, even hang on, worse. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang yes, on. You said the yes, N64 was yes, the worst controller of yes, all time. But now it's those. So now you've fallen in love with yep. the N64 no, controller, no, 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 and you don't like the Volt Maces. No, no, no. <laughs> My favorite controller is actually the Xbox One controller, but. It's nice, yeah, it is it's nice. pretty chunky. Okay, so the BBC <laughs> version is not as good as the Spectrum version. Well, I like the colour. I do like the colour. It's colourful, it's chunky. It's, it's more difficult, actually. It's yes, harder. Yes, it was. They I think fast. it runs, yeah, it runs faster, doesn't it, really? Mm. So, time for the moment we've all been waiting version. for. Now, this is the first time I've played it as well. Same, same, yeah. First time I've played we it on the Xbox 360. We downloaded it for 85 pence. 85 this pence. Is the first time we both worth every it. penny. We had no idea what was going to come up in the menu. What do you think of the everything. Xbox 360 version of Jetpack? Well, what? I was blown away. I thought, usually when they make a modern version, they take away the things that make it into the original game. Correct. Do you know what I mean? They take the things away. And I thought that's what it was going to be like. A remake with not all the original stuff in it. But do you know what? It's exactly the same, in my opinion. Just better. Okay, that's interesting. The controls, interesting. Um, this is my opinion. Slick. because. I'm a modern gamer. It's the controls are epic, and you can, obviously <laughs> I epic. I lasted for a lot longer. Didn't you I? did, I yeah. I'll give you. There. I'll grant you that. Okay, I think there's some very fair comments there. Actually, mm. I think what they've done, they've taken a brilliant game that people love, you turned it into. They haven't done else. a golden eye in it. What they've done, they've reskinned it. It looks beautiful, <laughs> yeah. but they've not lost the essence of 
what Jetpack's all about. Great no. playability. You're right. The controls, controls awesome. are Ooh. sublime. Really, really nice. Slip I controls. do like the Xbox 360 controller. And yeah, I it's thought, a nice controller. And I thought since we were using that controller, I thought the controls were going to be like really difficult, but they're actually not. They're no. really slick and. And I love that. I love the fact actually, if you're 85p, you're getting the old Sinclair Spectrum and version for the new version as well. And the new so you're getting version. two two games for 85p, which can't be bad, really. Mm-hmm. You know. If it was Electronic Arts, you'd probably be paying by the minute. Pounds. Yeah, it'd be seventeen pound to load it. Then it'd be five pound per minute, and then every time your rocket went off the screen, that'd be an extra ten quid probably for the next level. All right, I'm exaggerating a bit there, but the Sorry, Xbox Three, yeah. I really like it, guy. I really like Sorry. it. It's a good game. It's very playable. It looks gorgeous as well. I love yeah. the background. I love the border. The border's got, really nice. You've yeah. got the original version with the modern, In a modern border, border, which looks yeah, really yeah. cool. Good point, actually. Good point. So, thumbs up for the Xbox 360 version. Thumbs up for the Spectrum version. <sighs> BBC. Uh, nah. I, yeah, you know, fair play. Nah. It's 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 a version. If you were a kid and I'm you'd a been kid. bought the BBC back in 1983, 84. Wasn't it really expensive back then? It was probably one of the most expensive 8-bit home computers. It's only the rich kids. Have you got one then? I'm sorry. Because I only bought it recently. Um, (laughs) The the BBC Micro. I remember the BBC Micro was only owned by rich kids. It was only the rich kids that had the BBC. I didn't have a BBC. I had an MSX Toshiba. 99.99 from Lasky's in 1984. But the Beeb was about what? Beeb? The BBC. The Beeb was about, I don't know, three fifty, four hundred pounds is a lot of money. Was the BBC made by BBC? No, it's made by Acorn. Why would they call it BBC then? Because it was endorsed by the BBC. British. There's an entire episode in itself. Corporation. There's an entire episode in itself. The BBC microcomputer. You, made by you, Acorn. You taught me to... Program you were programming that? basic on that thing yeah, the other day. Oh, we found this old manual. It's manual behind the camera. Right? I keep nodding to the BBC and going, there it is, there it is, because it's just behind the camera. It's like, you can't see it. And like, you know, we found this manual, and then we started doing... I started to make... Com- like programs through there and I found this one on the internet coloured polygons remember yes. that yeah, yeah, lasered yeah. polygons and we were like and I spent hour, about an hour a full hour typing it, this it? out only to realise that we me- that I messed up at the start <laughs> so we had to do the whole thing again next night we tried it again and then we clicked start and it just drew polygons that, that, is, the, that is the pleasure of typing basic listings from magazines <laughs> a lot of people watching like this will go commands. god I used to do that yeah. we used to buy Sinclair Spectrum magazines we used to type the listings in and save them to they're tape just like, z- 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 they just appear out of lasers it's awesome those were the days anyway we digress also sad news this week mm-hmm. um, the death of Sir Roger Moore my favourite Bond my favourite Bond as well <laughs> interesting actually yeah. uh, Sir Roger Moore died at the age of 89 uh, this week He's, he will be a major cancer, major loss I think it was a short battle with cancer so our next episode is going to be dedicated to my favourite Bond of all time Roger. yeah generally a really really nice bloke yeah. he did a lot of work for UNICEF and he was just well, a yeah it? he was he was Sir a lovely Roger lovely guy and It'll be a major loss. Yeah. Um, I will still continue to do my bad Sean Roger Moore Connery impressions. Impression. Like, his name's Jaws. He, he kills, kills people. Me. Your, uh, Sean, your Sean Connery ones are worse. I can't do Sean Connery ones at all, can I? No. 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 I do Roger Moore more than Sean Connery. Next episode, we're going to be taking a look at um, games featuring mm-hmm. Roger Moore. I've So far, having a quick research, I've found a, a View yep. to a Kill. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, I like the uh, movie of that. Yeah, View to a Kill that was released mid eighties, I think, on various platforms by Doe Mark. We'll be taking a look at that. Also, on the Amiga there was the Spy Who Loved Me. And uh, also my favourite Bond film actually. Well one of my favourite Bond Ooh, films. Oh, also. My dad took me to see Spy Who Loved Me in Cardiff, in Cardiff Odeon in nineteen no, yes, nineteen of course it's nineteen. Nineteen seventy six <laughs> or seventy seven. So, um yes. Oh. We could do a video on the worst video game ever made. Oh, yes. We're going to have a look at the... We like to bring you quality stuff on this channel. Now, normally, we look at the best games on a particular platform. (laughs) For a change, we're going to look at the the worst worst video video game game of all time. And everybody knows what that is. It's E.T. That's extra Well, it's one of the worst games of all time. It's E.T. on the Atari 2600. It was a pivotal moment in history because it probably... Mm -hmm. Brought so about sad. 
the video games crash. I think it was the, the, the straw that broke the donkey's back, actually, that game was. Um, and we will be looking at that and uh, delving into the history of what on earth Atari were thinking. thinking. They went from being the pioneers of video gaming yeah. to releasing utter junk. This line graph is like... <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, their profits kind of like went up and then they were bleh, bottom down. Yeah. Anyway... We're rambling on. Guys, thanks for watching. Yeah. It's always uh, great fun like. to bring you this stuff. If you like what we do, give Thumbs us a up. like. If you don't, let us know why. Oh, comment as well. Um, so, yes, we will I'll see you there. guys soon. Take care now. Bye. Bye-bye. Dad, we got any biscuits? We have, but they've all melted. <laughs> <laughs>